This started as an attempt as a small group of nurses from the Hudson Valley that were astounded and outraged when we were given notification of these mandatory vaccinations of the influenza and swine flu. I never thought I'd see the day. My government would make me an would make an involuntary, excuse me, would make an involuntary flu inoculation a condition of my employment, especially a fast track vaccine. Vaccine. I never thought I'd see the day that signing on to be a healthcare worker, risking my health daily, from exposure to patients' body fluids, diseases, and potential of workplace violence, would come with it. Being a lab rat for the government is a part of that deal, and that's truly how we feel. Ask any of us. about the individuals that were injured as a result of the swine flu vaccinations in 1976. And some of them are still not recovered. No, Commissioner Danes, vaccine injuries are not a one-time incident. They have nothing to do with plane crashes and trusting planes. As that's an example you've been using a lot lately. There are a lot of people here today that can attest to that. Hang on a sec, I'm dealing with the wind, folks. <laughs> Jimmy Hendricks here. Woo! Am I, am I still working? Can somebody fix me? Where's my guy? Who's gonna fix me? Thanks, dude. Hang on, babe. All right, thanks. Hang on, keep that right. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Is that we don't stop. Okay. In this case, we don't trust the FDA, the CDC, or the WHO to do the right thing and to have our best interests at heart. When we began discussing this at work and reading what we could, we became increasingly alarmed. The mainstream information out there is that the swine flu vaccine contains a lot of dangerous substances that no one in their right mind would want to stick in their bodies. But because you all know that, that's why you're here today. Also, there's no proof this vaccine will protect us from the swine flu or protect us from spreading it to others. We're healthcare workers. We know that viruses are always mutating. Healthcare workers are cautious and intelligent people. Universal precautions are an instinctive and disciplined part of our daily practice at work and at home. We all agree that hospitals relaxed visiting policies are much more of a danger to our patients than we are. I cannot tell you how often I've had to insist that sick visitors with productive coughs and runny noses leave my unit because they were potentially putting my patient and their newborn at risk. I work with mothers and babies. We don't want to be test subjects that the government figures out what the long-term side effects will be for the rest of the country. Huh? Jimmy Hendricks is back. Somebody help me out. I don't know how to fix this, dude. We are mothers, fathers, grandmothers, sisters, brothers, daughters, sons, and the caregivers that your community counts on. Commissioner, stop trying to make us look like fools to make yourself look better. It's frightening that the media makes clear to us that the vaccine makers cannot be held liable for what happens to us. And that, and that the makers of this vaccine, they won't even take it themselves. Tell me, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Again, I want to thank you all for coming out today. Using your freedom of speech while you still have it, because the way this country is going, I don't know. The right to assemble. And because we'd rather stand up for our rights. We are Americans. We believe in freedom and the right to choose what we put in our bodies.